Hey there, what's up everyone? Don here. A few years ago, I thought I was done reviewing Spinnaker watches. I've talked about this briefly in the past, but I just felt the quality wasn't really there, and as such, I didn't want to promote them, even though that's not really what a review is, some take it as such. But over the past two years, Spinnaker has really upped their quality in my opinion, and I did review some of their latest pieces last year, and now I have two more in hand. The one I will be looking at today is the latest version of the Bodiger, now on a rubber strap. I don't feel this is the best watch they have produced to date, but it is still light years ahead from where they started, so let's take a look. The Bodiger is not a new release, well not exactly. Last year Spinnaker released this watch on a metal bracelet, and for whatever reason I did not review it. I don't really remember why, but now I have it on the rubber strap, and this one is the blue dial with a gunmetal case. Two other versions are available, both stainless steel, and I will show them to you here on screen. Now, the bracelet version got a lot of coverage last year, and many vintage watch lovers were initially excited as it reminded them of a Zen 809, at least the original teaser shots did. The full reveal was a little less exciting. Now, there are always two schools of thought on this. Some wanted a more faithful recreation of that iconic Zen. Others were okay that it looked, you know, it took only a little inspiration. And many hated the hour hand, no matter where they landed on the rest of the watch. I definitely don't think it really resembles the 809. I mean, the basic case shape, but that's about it. The bracelet version doesn't have hooded lugs, rather they are integrated on the spinnaker, and the same with this rubber strap version, meaning you won't be switching the strap out anytime soon. The watch is much larger, and both have floating indices, but done quite differently, which we will talk about more in a minute. And overall, I think spinnaker created their own design here, and I think that's a good thing. I think Zinn should redo the 809 and update it themselves, and I don't think I would have wanted a spinnaker that looked just like the 809. So onto the watch itself, and as I said, this one has the gunmetal case, and I don't love it. I would have preferred a matte black DLC or PVD instead of this brushed gunmetal case. It just looks a little off, at least to me. Now, I did say this watch was bigger than the Zinn, and it is, but not much bigger, at least not in width and length. The case is only 42 millimeters wide, with a lug-to-lug -lug of 47.5 millimeters. It is 13 millimeters thick, though, and the 809 was very svelte at only 9.5 millimeters. Part of the reason for the extra, uh, the extra thickness is just the case shape and the movement choice, I'm sure, but also how the dial is constructed for the floating indices here. Now the rest of the specifications are a Miyota 9015 automatic, a sapphire crystal with an AR coating on the inside, 300 meters of water resistance, and that lug length is 26 millimeters. If you are looking for the weight, it's 115 grams. Price is 650, but since this is a spinnaker, it can be had cheaper. Just look at their website or search for discount codes. So yeah, this is not a Zen 809 replacement by any means, but this is still a nice watch. I just think I would have liked it better in stainless and with the bracelet, though I have to say this is a very high quality and uh, very comfortable rubber strap. Uh, has a very nice length, fits easily on my 7.5 inch wrist, and should easily, I think, fit up to an 8 inch wrist, if not more. Now the most notable feature is the floating indices, and while Zinn did it by painting and attaching a ring to the crystal, this is built up on the dial in place of a rehot, and then the chapter ring applied on top of that. It definitely creates a lot of dimension on the dial, and it has a great aesthetic, and I'm surprised more brands do not do this with their watches. This blue dial is a very deep matte blue, and I like the subtle touches of dark orange. The case back is nice and flat, and as such, it wears very comfortably on my wrist, seven and a half inch again for if you're keeping track. And as I said, this strap is extremely comfortable. The overall feel on the wrist reminds me of a Seiko SKX, so very wearable for most wrists. Crown action is smooth and very sturdy, but the bezel I can turn with one finger as I will demonstrate for you. It's not exactly what I call a sloppy bezel, it's just looser than I prefer, 
Though the profile of the bezel doesn't really catch on my pants or coat, so I haven't noticed the bezel being off from where I set it. The Miyota 9015 movement, we all know, and besides, you know, a somewhat loud rotor at times, this has proven to be a great movement in the past decade, and glad to see Spinnaker using it now and not the 8200 series. And lastly, we have the Loom, and as you can see, nothing to complain about. It's extremely bright, and it looks like they're using uh, genuine C3 Super Luminova, and I believe C1 for the second hand. Again, I think this is a good watch from Spinnaker, and we all know they release so many watches and that they are not a micro brand at all. But if you had told me six years ago that one day they would produce a watch such as this, I would have flat out called you a liar. I am personally not in love with this piece. It's just not for me, really. I can't exactly put my finger on it, but I want to know what you think of it. Let me know in the comment section below as well as any questions that you may have, and I will gladly answer them. All links will be in the description, including a link to the written article. You know the deal. Please like and share. If this is your first time here, you just haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It really helps out the channel. If you want to make sure you never miss a review, hit that notification bell. If you want to stay up to date with us between reviews, check us out on social media. It is at Watch Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.